Welcome everybody, Farm Sim Snowy here. So you're probably fully aware now that the Platinum expansion is out. So we are here on the new map, Silver Run Forest. We've got some of the new equipment that comes with that pack out ready to go. Um, I'll talk you through sort of what we've got and what's happening. But we are mainly interested in this container in front of us because if you're not aware, this will auto load logs on console. Yes, guys, on console. Now, it's not 100% auto load. And what I mean by that is you can't just pull up against the logs, click a button like we can with some of the pallets and things like that, and the logs will load in. There's still a tiny little bit of work we need to do. Um, but it's a start. It's pretty awesome, I think. So let's check it out. So these containers, they do have their own category. And if we go into objects, they are there right at the end. Click on that. We've got a base price of 3,850, but that is going to depend on what size you go for. There is three different sizes. So we can go for the largest one, which is a 40 foot, 12 meter logs. We've got a 30 foot, 9 meter logs, and then a 20 foot, 6 meter logs. That is the one I chose for, uh, chose. And I did that because I've cut up some 6 meter lengths of timber wood logs whatever you want to call them already we can change the design we've got lizard logistics lizard forestry back to standard and then the main color we can change to anything on there if you want you're not going to lose that in the forest are you but i'm not going to buy another one because we've got one here already um, you can open the doors on them which obviously you are going to need to be able to do to load up the logs it don't have to be on the back of a trailer or in the air you can open the doors with them on the deck now i've got one of the new volvo trucks and the new low loader trailer there which i will show you because if we go into here and low loaders go to the end it's this red one the low loader 3a now this does have a couple of little tricks up its sleeve this trailer um there's a couple of configurations there i'm not going to bother showing you those it's not a mod review or interested in the auto load but if you look at the description on the top right there it says this trailer can transport other vehicles because obviously it is a low loader but then it says this trailer is suitable to transport shipping containers so you can load one of these onto any low loader trailer or probably any flatbed trailer as long as it's big enough and it's got tension straps because you will need to strap it down this trailer works a little bit like the header trailers where you drop a header on there and they snap into position this trailer does that with these containers which we will see so we'll jump into this forklift this is the forklift that is already on the map it's normally over at the south sawmill but i reset it here to the shop which kind of makes a bit more sense if you're buying these containers now you do have the holes there for the forks to go in but you don't have to be exactly lined up but if you widen the forks it's going to give you a bit more stability now obviously the doors are only on one end so we want to make sure they're at the back of the trailer so we can load up the logs decent enough now first of all before we do that let's stop that there and jump out now if you want to buy one of the i think it was 30 foot wasn't it for uh, for nine meter logs that will fit perfectly on that step there and across the back there absolutely fantastic the smaller ones you can actually fit two on there and there the back one overhangs quite a bit but it will stay there but what if you want to put one of the big containers on well if we jump in here start the engine this trailer has a little trick up its sleeve it does have ramps and you can extend the boards so you can put wider equipment on but if we hold down r1 for me and we've got the right stick up and down that extends the body so you can fit one of those large containers on there so that's pretty awesome i like that now what we're going to do is snap one of these bad boys on there so we're going to aim for the sort of back end. It probably will snap it and overhang quite a bit. You don't have to be perfectly lined up as long as you're near. I'll just prove a point. So if we drop it, oh, get off. 
come on don't play up now doing a video there we go it snapped into place like I say it looks a little bit odd but I think it's done like that so you can fit two of these guys on now I did that earlier and obviously the doors to this container it was there they were there you can come up to there still and open the doors to that container but it flings that one off the back so if you're loading up I would try and load obviously this trailer up first shut the doors and you'd have to lift this one on so it could be a little bit of faffing around if you want to but we will drive this over to our area where we've got logs just over there now another thing is I thought do you need to have this on a trailer to be able to load up these logs so what I did is I grabbed the forklift um, picked up the container brought it over opened the doors it will take some of them but it is a little bit fiddly I managed to get two of these in and then it wouldn't pick up the other two they are here somewhere there so yeah it doesn't quite work that well like that so I think it is best to have it on a container like that so if we open our doors up we're going to need a log sort of loader implement so if we go into forestry machines and I'm going to use this big Volvo it's a bit overkill but <laughs> we're going to try it it's a bit of a beast we'll just tab to that look at that so it should be able to pick up quite a few logs with that now what I've done is a few piles of six meters and I've also cut one tree down at 12 meters just to see what it does if you try to put 12 meters into six so we're going to try and pick as much of this pile up as we can it's not the um, best sort of pile but we'll see what happens so let's open up the jaws and get over Now, what I said earlier as well about, um, right, let's just grab what we can then. They should lock into place. Awesome. What I said earlier about logs not being the right length. Obviously, if you're cutting a tree down and you get to the tip of the tree, it's not always going to be the same length of the, you know, start of the tree that you had we started cutting if that makes sense you're always going to have a tiny short bit at the top and when you load up with these you probably will see it will come up with a warning just letting you know that one of the lengths of wood isn't the right length but we can't really do much about that but if you sort of aim into that area and it's going to be this piece we've got here which is probably going to be the one that's causing us a problem right let's spin this around this one probably should throw up a warning for us there we go because you could see that wasn't six meters it wasn't the same as the others so it says the log the loaded log has the wrong length for the container this reduces the sale price but there's not anything we can do about that really but look at that we've got logs in there loaded up now I've got these guys which are 12 meters I don't know whether it's going to accept them I haven't tested it so we will open up the jaws again I'm still trying to get used to some of this equipment I'm not very good at forestry I will hold my hands up with that but there is a lot of mods you could use for this we've got the big bag lifter come back on the CSZ pack so you don't have to struggle with things like this which is pretty awesome let's lift those up we should be okay and I'm wondering, it probably will take these, but I think it will tell us off, I think. Let's see. Can we get near enough? Yes, there we go. It will take them. So it's telling us that our target is six metres, but, you know, hey-ho. How much of a penalty that is, I'm not quite sure. Right, what we're going to do now is go and sell those logs out of that trailer and we need to head up to here north of the map 
container warehouse. So I will see you up there and we'll go through what happened. We are down here. So yeah, but look, that has auto loaded them. Absolute treat. So we'll close them up. If we jump into the truck, it should give us a volume. Got 6,587 litres of wood. I will see you up at the sale point, guys. Right, so guys, we are just coming up to the container warehouse. We're going this way. Now you literally, all you do is just drive across the sale point. But the thing is, it sells the wood and it also sells the container. Bang, there's it gone. 24,644. So what exactly has happened here? Basically, you get reimbursed for the container, which does mean you're going to need to buy a container every time you do this, which is a little bit... Mm. But... You get paid for it, you get money back. So if we scroll down to here and scroll down to, don't worry about the other figures, I was just setting a few things up. Sold wood, which is towards the top, it says 20,794. Obviously, that is the actual wood. So we've been reimbursed for the container, which was 3,850, I think, which adds up to the total price that we got for both of those things if that makes sense now the question is does it work on any other map well the actual auto loading does i don't know why i've got out because it's gone the actual auto loading does work on other maps i tried it on western wilds cut down a few trees loaded them up absolutely fantastic the problem is selling because the container sells as well you can't do anything with it. I went up to the normal sawmill. I chucked down a few sell anything sell points and it just wouldn't happen. It doesn't even sell the wood. I opened the doors of the container, tried a few different variations and it just will not sell. So whether we get a modded sell point where that could happen, you can't really use it on any other map, which is a bit of a bummer, but it is a start, like I said. But there you go, that's it from me guys. I hope you have all enjoyed the video and found it useful. If you have, please smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. That would be fantastic. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine. I've been Farm Sim Snowy. Stay frosty.